What's up, people out there in YouTube land? Today is August 1st. Yes, it's friggin' August already. Where the hell is summer going? Um, it's been hectic already for summer. That's another month before the kids go back to school, but it's been a fast summer so far. Weather. It's been up and down, it's been hot, it's been cold, it's been rainy, it's been stormy, it's been a lot of things, but I just, I am thought about it today, I'm like, wow, it's freaking already August. But it's been a fun summer so far. Got a lot accomplished um, between sports, cookouts, vacations, all sorts of fun activities. So hopefully everyone's having fun out there. So I'm going to do a quick recap since my last video, um, stuff that I got in. And I'm going to show everything, so sit back and get excited, because uh, I've been asked to show everything I got in, because you know what, I should be showing everything, because it gives ideas for other things, so, but it's going to be a lot of sports cards, and a few pictures here and there, but I want to answer a question that I received last time about storage of cards, uh, between binders and monster boxes, um... Is basically how I store everything, but I have these containers that I actually bought at Walmart. I think they're like seven or eight bucks. And let me show you one of them, which is this plastic container, which is great. Uh, I have a whole bunch of these because I like how they're laid out. They're really good. And look, they open up. And like that. You get a whole. I don't know. Oh, well, it's 1,100 cards. These, this is how I'm storing a lot of my sets. This is the uh, 92 top set and 81 flip. Really um, sets that I'm working on. And if you can't find them where I found a good place, I picked up another one. Um, Target sometimes has them, and it's Eight bucks at Walmart, empty, but at Target, I think they're fourteen, like this, and you get this collector's box, and it comes with two hundred cards, bunch of coins, uh, three factory packs, two hundred fifty one touch kit, two touch one screw down, ten top loads, don't care, and collector's coins. But yeah, fifteen bucks, fourteen ninety nine, so you get an extra two hundred fifty cards of random cards, which is nice because as soon as I get them, I just ship them right back out. So, I like those. Alright, so we're already three minutes in, so let me stop moving here on these cards. So hopefully that answers your question out there. Okay. Cards. Not in any particular order, but baseball first. Came in today, Ryan Wagner signed as this a card. Uh, Pete Delkis signed two minor league cards. I'm going to try and go through these pretty fast. John Dorothy. Signed two minor league cards. A lot of these cards took actually less than 30 days. And most of them. John Dorothy sent the Major League Alumni um, information card with it. So apparently he has something to do with it. Pat Combs. Signed four of four. He's actually, I think, a stockbroker at Morgan Stanley. Or Smith Barney. Morgan... Whatever. Signed four cards in 14 days. Next, Mark Dewey signed one and sent along as extra one. He actually is with the Brewers. He's a coach over there. Remember sending it there. Eric Wedge, former Seattle manager right there, former Red Sox, who I will give a little history thing. He was, I was pissed because I believe it was the Florida no, Colorado Rockies that drafted him in the expansion draft when I was watching it as a kid and I was a huge Wedge fan and they drafted him and I was pissed. Carlos Diaz, thank you Stock Tiger. I requested this address and it worked. They got it right away and he signed in about eight days. A couple of minor leaguer. Doug Desenzo signed 2-2 two two from the Braves. Coach down there. I love that card because it shows him pitching. Next, Kobe Miller. 
sign that one in about 10 days. Jason Phillips, who is the bullpen catcher for the Seattle Mariners. Sign that one in about 8 days. Another stack here. Stu Kilburn, sign 2 or 2. That one actually took a couple of months. This is a cool one that I like. Mike Eb, it's E R B. Sign that one. Sent me this one, and he sent me a note, which was a great note. I'm gonna read because I really liked it. Uh, Andy, thank you for your making my day. It stokes me out when a fan still wants my autograph after all these years. To say thanks, I signed another card and put it in with the one you sent. I hope you can use it in your collection. Thank you, Mike. I love when guys write notes that are minor leaguers and you actually remember them. And they come back and say, oh, you remember me. Okay. Paul Zuba signed those two. Sign that one with it. Next, Star Tiger just added, updated an address for him. And he signed it about five days, and I need him for my set. And I just dropped him. Alan Anderson, who I wanted for years for my set, and I could never find a good address for him. And Star Tiger updated one, and it worked out good. And I dropped the cards. Hold up, click. Okay, back. Now, football cards. Ozzy Newsome. Sent it to Marilyn, and he stamped the cards. I hate when they friggin' stamp them. So, Hall of Fame, and I was like, oh, nice. And I looked, I'm like, friggin' stamped. Next, Mike Kroll. This one took from my flare set probably about a year and a half. Patriots Hall of Famer, Troy Brown. I am that one. That one's for you, Kyle Carter. I know you like these cards. Well, here's the football version for the Patriots. You and your NASCAR ones. I know you like those. Next, now on to hockey. Joseph Stumple from the Bruin. Sign that one. Next, former Bruin, Gary Galley. Sent for the Canada. Sign those two. I think I only sent them that one. And, no, I sent them both. Sorry. Next. Vazis Vitsoff. I sent them four cards, which I normally don't send four, and he signed one and sent, kept three. <laughs> so, whatever. Next, on my second attempt on this individual, I sent them one, these cards. Got a, uh, PP, preprint, um, picture back. Returned my cards, but this time he actually signed them. Cy Robinson from Duck Dynasty signed my cards. Look at me on the back. They're playing cards and he got the Joker. Then he signed those. Then a day later, I got this in the mail. And I was like, who the hell is that? And I wasn't paying attention. I opened it. And he sent me a signed picture. <laughs> I haven't watched Duck Dynasty in a long time. I think I watched the first two seasons then. I kind of forgot about it. Alright, a couple Walking Dead successes. This one took literally 10 days. I said that I believe to his agent. Um, Steven Hume? Glenn? Oh, jeez. I'm dropping shit everywhere. He must fly signing these because he does the SZ. That's it. And that one. And that one. And at the same time, then sign this one. I am Singleton. So I am the T Dog one. So I'll get that other one back out too. Olympic success. Tom Washkish. Jeez, I'm fucking dropping him. There you go. Another one. K. Denny. No. Johnny Dawkins. Unsigned. Every time I send to him, he returns them. Unsigned. So I think I'm going to give up. Next, Patriots. Yeah, Patriots. Uh, Basketball Hall of Famer. Robert the Chief Parish. Signed 202. I sent it to North Carolina. And they came back from Shreveport, Louisiana. 
And another person mentioned someplace, I think on the Facebook pages, that they got Robert Patterson and I came back from Louisiana too. And finally, Russell Wilson sent back a pre-printed letter. Stupid card, because he can't sign. He's too busy. Too much mail. Blah, blah. Okay, next. Some pictures that came in. This came in today. Susan Beckenlinna. Signed my jaw picture. Her swimming along. I do have to send this out. The artist. I really want to get the artist that drew this picture. The cover for Jaws. To get his name. I'm going to get that out too. Next, this was a... What was it? A project that I did a few years ago. When I found these information cards about states, I sent to the governors. And I got one back. Uh, he's a senator now. The Honorable Dirk Kemperthorne. He sent me a nice letter on the... Um, Stationary. So use the former governor of Idaho. Next. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, I sent to A.C. Earl, former first round pick of the Celtics, about a year and a half ago, out in um, Iowa. I sent them two cards and. He sent me back a flyer for his book. Yay. Then he sent me a flyer. I can go meet him for a book signing. And after I buy his book. Get an autograph from former Iowa great AC Earl. At the Walmart. Where you can buy stuff. I don't think I can make it. A. It's in uh, Iowa. And B. It was uh, April 15, 2011. So, uh Unfortunately, I'm over three years late for this. Might be working there right now, but... <laughs> and just randomly walking around signing stuff. Or maybe he's one of the greeters at the door. That'd be kind of funny. You walk in the Walmart and he's here. I was like, hey, hey welcome to Walmart. <laughs> Stacy, if you go out there, let me know. Okay. All right, next. Peter Cullen, who is the voice of the Optimus Prime. Sign that picture. Signed uh, that picture. And two of my favorite cartoons growing up, Transformers and also G.I. Joe. He was the voice of Nemesis. Right down there. Laying on the ground. He was the voice there. And here he is holding up Cobra Commander when he was turning into the snake. Oh, they actually do play them back to back at 6 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. on the hub over here. I'm trying to get my kids to watch it, but it's too old school for them. Because of the graphics are freaking horrible, but it's great. All right, next, Joel Higgins. You might know him as the father from Silver Spoons. Sent this giant picture of him. He signed it up there, then he signed it again down there. And they're both in St. Marcus. So, boom, boom. Okay, next. Jim Landis. Sent them the Golden Glove. It was already signed by Mickey Stanley. He signed it right there. I think that second baseman sent that for. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to get, like, the same guys on the same pitches. All pitches on one, and... This is going to be my catcher one. Mike Liebethal signed the card. Signed my gold glove pitcher. That bad reflection. Woo. Uh, Bobby Gritch. This is the second base one. Because down there, signed by Bobby uh, Richardson. Five gold gloves. And Bobby Signed it right there with four gold gloves. I guess in there after Frank Malzone next, who's second baseman. All right, next, Paul Fusco. Fusco, F-U-S-C-O, who created and was the voice of Elf. Sign my pitch. I'm almost there. 14, 15 minutes in. We're almost there. Next, great success. 
I sent them a picture and a card from Major League, the movie, um, Tom Barringer, but I didn't get my card back. But he did inscribe the picture that was already signed by William Defoe, and now I got him. And that's as far as I'm going to go, because there's no way in hell I'm sending this out to Charlie Sheen. This will go to Charlie Sheen. Will in the roll the dice on that one, but not this one. That's my second time getting uh, Tom Berenger in the last couple months. Next. Marty Barrett. Sign that card. And he signed my Red Sox logo. Which is one, two, four people on it so far. Billy Joe Robido, Joe Morgan, Marty Barrett, and Kevin Romain. 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 Okay. Jim Acker. I paid the five bucks because I really just wanted him on this. My Seattle Pilots logo. There. Yeah. Next, Roger Craig, former manager of the Giants, who was also a Brooklyn Dodger. So this is from the 56 World Series. This is the guy holding up the programs. That's how I know what year it was. World Series. Uh, Yankees vs. Dodgers. He signed that one. The Evans Field, which was already signed by Bob Asamola. And here's just a picture of inside Evans Field. So those will be going back out. Next, this one came out as crappy as humanly possible. Uh, it's a picture from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That was already signed by Richard Epson. And now it's signed by Larry Flash Jenkins, who are the two guys that stole the car, Ferris Bueller's car. He started an ink pen down here, drew a line to the top, and signed it up there. What the hell was he thinking? Literally, this was out for a week. I sent it to a company that he's the president. But, yeah. I don't know. I can't even read it. To Andy, something, something, Larry Flash Jenkins, love, and... I don't, I don't know. So, sucks that you signed a pen. I was just hoping to sign it right under there. So... And finally, I sent this one out. It's the second one I have of this. I don't know why. I just like the picture. Something happens or something. I sent the 10 bucks. Sent me back a listing of other stuff I could buy. Don Larson. Send me. You'll be a Don Larson picture. It's a friggin' Yankees picture. But I gotta do it. I do have another one of these. I think it's dual signed at my parents' house. But, anywho. Alright. That's it. Good. Everything's logged in. I can put all this stuff away and start fresh for 18 minutes. All right. Have a good night. Hope everyone has a good day. Enjoy the rest of the summer. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit too. That's for you, Kat. Kind of all right, buddy. Have a good one.